wanted to talk about Naomi and Naomi a little bit. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of people coming out because Inouye's the number one dude, arguably in boxing, not not these little hype jobs as you like to like to proclaim to be. It's either him or Uzik, pound for pound, number one, period. Point blank, if you ain't got that as the top two pound for pound, you don't know shit about boxing and your pound for pound list sucks, okay? That's number one. Number two, you got all these dudes hating on Naomi Inouye. Why? He's a humble guy. He's more accomplished than every American fighter. This is what this is why they hate you, Inouye. And I'm sticking up for you, bro. And I'm sticking all up for all the fight fans in Japan. You know why they hate you, Inouye? You know why some of these racist ass piece of shit Americans hate you? Because you're better than them. You're better than them. Keep doing what you do, you little samurai. Keep smashing people and taking names, bro. You understand me? You're better than all the American fighters. That's why the, That's why all these idiots on the internet have something to say about you, because you're better than them. Capiche? You're better than them. Stephen Fulton, listen, bro. I was ready to give, and I still do give Stephen Fulton some respect if he goes to Japan and fights Inouye. He does deserve respect for that. But I also lost a little bit of respect for Stephen Fulton because he said, uh... The only reason I know he's getting praised is because he's Japanese. Well, how about we flip that around? I think the only reason you're getting praised is because you're an African-American. Just like so many other African-American boxers get praised in the sport for doing absolutely nothing, like Deontay Wilder, like Boots Ennis, like uh, uh, Tank Davis. These guys ain't fought nobody done shit. Okay, even Shakur's fought a couple of people. Germ Little Charlo's fought a couple of people. Big Charlo ain't done shit. Demetrius Andre ain't done shit. So I think you got that backwards, Stephen Fulton. I think you're getting overhyped because you're an African American. He's not getting overhyped because he's Japanese. That dude already has three Hall of Fame wins under his resume. The kid's 19 and 0 in title fights. You're not going to even have 19 title fights. You understand me? You're never going to be a three-way champion, Stephen Fulton. You're never, it's never going to happen. You're never even going to be undisputed at 122 because after Inoue gets his hands on you, he's going to knock your fucking rib cage out of your back. Okay? So, that's number one. A lot of dickhead American channels trying to shit on Inoue for no reason other than the fact that he's a better f fighter than their favorite fighter. And God bless Naomi Inoue. Naomi Inoue's an old school gangster. Like when Manny Rodriguez's uh, punk ass coach, I forget what the dude's name was. He was another Puerto Rican kid. Uh, um, he pushed Inoue's dad who was like half his size. His, Inoue's dad's like his, his size. He's a little dude, a little five foot five, a little five foot four. Did Inoue freak out? Because his dad got shoved when you and Manny Rodriguez were doing them press conferences. No. He just looked, took an observation. I'll take care of it later. Then he got in the ring and he got smashed. Now, on to the other group of assholes that want to be all of a sudden prejudiced towards Naomi and Oe, which I find hilarious. Because these guys are the same dudes that if you, if you like I say, if you flip this around and and point them, point them that at them, they start crying, it's racist, it's racist, it's racist. The Mexican fanboys, and I'm not saying all the channels, but there's a particular group of uh, Mexican fanboys that all of a sudden believe Luis Neri would beat Naomi Inouye. Let me tell you something, man. Naomi Inouye would knock the beans and rice out of Luis Neri. Okay, he would not take his sombrero and shove it up his culo. You understand me? Now, all you know, he would sh shove a fucking sombrero and a fucking jar of salsa up Luis Neri's asshole. Okay. Um, that was a great fight the other night. I'm not taking anything away from Luis Neri. I call him a Mexican Dennis Rodman because he likes to have all these stupid looking haircuts when he's in the boxing ring. All right. You know, you were squealing on the ground like a little girl after Brandon Figueroa hits you in the belly. Squealing like a girl. What do you think Inouye would do to do you? Figueroa, Figueroa's a bigger man than Inouye. He don't hit as hard as Inouye, though. 
If Brandon Figueroa makes you scream like a girl on the floor due to pain, what do you think of that little samurai Naoya know he's going to do to you, Luis? He's going to make you scream on the floor in pain, just like you were doing against Figueroa. Um, but yeah, Luis Neri, he's also a drug cheat, guy who comes in undisciplined, misses weight all the time, lost titles on this, all that other kind of shit, you know, but trust me, trust me when I say you're both going to get your turn and I'm going to, I'm going to, you know what? And I hope, and I hope whatever city you're from, they plant the Japanese flag in front of your house after he, after, you know, he gets done beating the ever living shit out of the two of you, you know, that. God bless Naoya Noe, and God bless the Japanese boxing fans, and the people that does, and the and the good Americans that do support Naoya Noe, because the man truly is a great fighter. He's already a Hall of Famer. Like I say, he's a three weight champion. He's the first undisputed bantamweight champion in fifty freaking years, people. He's nineteen and zero in title fights. Most of these boys ain't even gonna get to 19, 19 title fights. The amount of disrespect I see on this YouTube and on the Twitter for Noe is just hilarious to me, man. But like I say, Stephen Fulton, you know, you made some stupid slur about the only reason he's getting praised is because he's Japanese. Well, okay. Well, if that's the only reason, go over there and prove it. What are you telling us for? What are you telling us he's a hype job for? If you think he's a hype job, get your ass over there to Japan, fight him. Because I will give you this, Stephen, you do have the balls to travel, unlike like most of your contemporaries here in America, that are that are that are perfectly fine with getting gift decisions on their scorecards and never leaving their hometowns for big fights. So I'll give you that. I'll give you that, Stephen. But now I want you to go stop talking, sign the fight. Let's get the announcement, and let's see what happens. And like I said, my guess is that. Now, oh, you know, he's going to blow your fucking rib cage out of your back. So with that being said, I just wanted to say God bless Naomi you know, He's a an original gangster. It's a real one. And, you know, Fulton and Neary, you're both going to get it at some point or another. I'd say I pray for you, but, you know. I don't want to I'm not I don't want to pray for you. I want to watch you bleed. Hit the like and subscribe.